The never-ending task to promote good ethnic relations in Guyana was entrusted to the Ethnic Relations Commission, the ERC, since its formation in 2002. But the Commission's work came to a pause in 2011. Following a hiatus of seven years, the reconstituted board was sworn in February 2018. Commissioners met a depleted staff complement of 14 manning the Secretariat. Steps were taken to augment the administrative, media monitoring, public awareness, and investigative unit to over 30 staff members. Millions were spent to retool and upgrade technical equipment and resources required to execute the work of the Commission. In reintroducing itself to civil society and to encompass all groups, the new board met with representatives of the 10 constituencies represented on the Board of Commissioners, Christians, the private sector, African Guyanese, women, Muslims, youth, the indigenous people, Hindus, Indian Guyanese, and the labor movement. The commission also met with heads of the discipline services, the inter-religious and men's groupings to obtain concerns, suggestions, to promote a more cohesive society. In yet another initiative during 2019, commissioners met with members of the diplomatic community resident in Guyana to explore areas of collaboration. Commissioners fanned out to the 10 administrative regions, meeting mayors of outlining towns, officials of the regional democratic council, RDCs, and thousands of citizens to obtain their concerns on obstacles preventing national harmony and suggestions to remove them. The ERC embarked on almost 60 outreaches during 2018 and 2019 to promote its mandate ranging from workplace meetings at various public and private sector agencies to expositions and stakeholders meetings. The outreaches included visits to the hinterland communities of Konishin, Parmakatoi, Kamaram, Parasabai, Anai, Letim, Madia, Mabarumo, Port Kaitumo, and Maruko. The Commission also carried out humanitarian works and provided assistance to residents of elderly homes, victims of domestic violence, and the children's home. The faraway indigenous communities, home of the YY located at Connection Guns. Region 9 also received similar support. In a signature move to promote tolerance, understanding, and unity among Guyanese, the Commission launched the first phase of its Harmony campaign at the Guyana Pegasus in January 2019. The launch was well attended by government officials, members of the opposition, foreign dignitaries, and members of the civil society. Close to a dozen novel public awareness initiatives were unveiled at the launch, including billboards, a revamped ERC website, four new public service advertisement PSAs, posters for school and workplaces, a harmony song performed by Guyanese artist Tashana Court and Mark Ferdinand, brochures and a cell phone app to send complaints. It is noteworthy to mention that a representation of one PSA to promote togetherness was adopted with a similar trust by a private company. But the curtains came down for the ERC Board of Commissioners at the end of its three-year term in 2021. Former Chairman Reverend John Smith presented three annual reports on Monday 20th of September to the Speaker of Parliament, Mansour Nadir, at a new thriving restaurant. The reports will be reviewed by the country's parliamentarians to identify factors that contribute to ethnic disharmony and recommendations to improve ethnic relations.